Hi, I'm Brian from saltwateraquarium.com. I am the wholesale manager here as well as one of the customer service reps. Uh, first tank, started off early. Um, grew up on the, around the ocean. My dad was a fisherman uh, for a career and we had our first tank probably about the time I was 10 or 12. Um, just fish only, it was a beautiful tank, but I learned that I loved having them. So when I had my first apartment, I had my first tank on my own, which was either 75 or 90, can't remember that far back. And then shortly after that, I went off to the military, traveled the world for a little bit, and then when we settled down in Europe, we decided to get a tank in Europe and kind of did things their way, different from us. So in America, we believe in sumps. You know, sumps are key for reef tanks, for saltwater tanks. Out there, they really don't do sumps as much. Maybe nowadays they do, but back then they weren't. Uh, we were running canister filters for our reef tanks, one per drain, and had great success. I mean, nothing as clean as you would get the way we run them nowadays, but it worked, and it was simple. Um, after that, we moved back to the States, started back off with another 90, quickly moved up to a 230, the uh, water box tank, and then we added on a 450-gallon what was supposed to be predator tank turned into a reef tank. It's amazing to work here as a hobbyist because me personally, I help run the trade show. So I get to travel the country and see all the new products first, talk to all the manufacturers and get, you know, to play with this stuff. And I'm still a kid in the candy store. When I see new things, I get excited. For example, the new reef mat. When the reef mats came out and one of the reps at Red Sea showed them to me, I was ecstatic about it. I thought it was one of the best things out there. and. Shortly after they came out, I was on the waiting list like everybody else. When they came out, I got mine and fell in love with it. And that happens time and time again with products, coral, fish, you name it. My personal favorite fish is a blonde naso tank. I think they're a gorgeous fish. They swim all around the tank and they're just amazing to watch swim around. Easiest advice or best advice would be keep it simple. Don't overthink things. Don't overthink the problems. All right, nothing happens good overnight in this hobby and nothing happens, no repairs, no fixing anything happens overnight. So take it easy, take it slow. Don't overreact to certain things. A lot of the time, the waiting game will clear a lot of this stuff up. 